Hello, my friends. My name is Roman Salani, and today I'm going to share with you a uh, concept of health. What is concept of health and why are we talking about it today? Because in today's world, we live in a society that is preoccupied with questions about how to live healthier, how to live longer, and how to have better quality of life. We have so much information about this, and that causes probably more confusion and more stress on people than not knowing anything at all. However, I work with a company called Coral Club, and for 25 years, our company has been researching and providing to our customers and partners information about the best and easiest way to obtain health, longevity, and high quality of life. And all of this is here in this concept of health. Why I'm talking about it today? Because I've been living this concept of health for the last five and a half years. My family does so, and many people around the world who I learned and met over the last five and a half years. So why don't we get started? Today, we're going to speak about why do we get sick? How to influence the sources of illness, activity, active longevity, and where to start, very important. Do you know that human body it requires those five things on my um, left that help us to live longer and higher quality of life? First, we need to move. Obviously, we're not moving today as our parents and grandparents moved years ago. We have elevators, we have cars, and all of this reduces the amount of mov movement in our daily lives. So we have to figure out how to deal with this. Our psychology. Many people today are looking for a quick fix, easy solutions to all of their problems. And let's face it, our health and our longevity is a process, is not an immediate, immediate result. Just taking a pill or doing a surgery will not fix our health. It will be maybe a temporary solution, but in the long run, we have to adjust and we have to learn how to take care of our body on a daily basis. And this is what our presentation is about. We also depend on equality of air. And let's face it, many people today live in the polluted uh, big cities or they have to commute to and from cities all the time. And this is... Uh, pollution that we expose on a daily basis. Very hard to address that. Now, water, we are 70% water. We'll talk about it later. And obviously quality of water makes not the last, but probably one of the first role, plays one of the first roles in our health. And food, can you really find a healthy and solid food today? Probably not, it's hard, but we'll learn and, and see today. So our body is 70% water. So imagine that human body is like a fish tank on the legs and 70% of this is water. And our cells, the smallest uh, building uh, ingredient in our body is the fish in our fish tank. So our cells create tissue, our tissue create organs. And from the organs, we have 12 systems in the body that mother medicine treats today. But it treats only the human body at the level of organs or systems, very few doctors and scientists go to the tissue. However, uh, the main problems in our life actually starts with the cells. Humans are the only creatures on earth that do not or don't drink a lot of natural water. They drink anything else but water. We drink tea, coffee, milk, sodas, alcohol, tap water but rarely people actually have access to high quality natural sources of water. And humans are only one creatures on earth that also eat or do something with food and don't eat the food as it comes from the nature. We do all these crazy things on, on my right side uh, with, with our food. However, all causes of disease start in our cells. When our cells become defective, they cause to create defective tissue. Defective tissues cause uh, to create defective organs and creative defective organs cannot by definition create healthy systems and healthy body. So what we are looking for is to uh, have an approach that will help us on a daily uh, basis to improve the quality of our cells. And when our cells will be healthier, they will produce healthy tissue. Healthy tissue will produce healthy organs and healthy organs will create healthy you. So what do we need to do? Apparently, our body needs to be hydrated because we are 70% water. Our body needs to be cleaned 
cleansed because the pollution that we exposed to and different toxins that we find in food and water and other drinks that we consume on a daily basis. And last but not least, we need to feed ourselves. Again, not the taste that we are looking for or the quote beautiful dish on our plate. We need to look for the nutrients in our food. Let's see. Well, let's start with hydration. As I explained to you, if our body is 70% water, Imagine that fish tank and we put water in the fish tank and we put fish in the fish tank and then our water is gone for some reason. What's going to happen with our fish? The fish is going to die. So water serves two purposes in our body. Once it transports the nutrients to our cells and oxygen to all of the body. And they, there's no water, there's no food to our cells and no oxygen. And that causes death. The second thing that it does is to remove toxins from our body Water is the best solvent in the world that solves about 80% of toxins that our body exposed to. And guess what? If we don't remove toxins from our body, we intoxicate and die again. So when we're talking about body, look how many, uh, how much water in each of our different parts of the body, brain, lungs, blood, heart, liver. And when we talk about water, we need to talk about two quantifiers, quantity and quality. With quantity, it's fairly simple. It's half an ounce per pound of your weight or in metric system, it's 30 milliliters per kilo of your weight. And obviously you can adjust it with your living conditions. If you live in hot uh, climate or you work hard, you have to drink a little bit more. If you live in a cold climate, you may a little bit reduce, but this is an average amount of water that every human being uses regardless of their age regardless of uh, who they are, men or women, because we're talking about um, every person sweats, every person goes number one, and we also speed and we also use water for our activities of daily living. Now, quantity, quality of water is very important and we'll speak about them in a second. So when we're talking about quality of water, we're talking about five major properties. There are way more than that, but we're talking about five that are essential for our daily living and for our health. First, water has to be structured. Water has to be able to access your cells easily, delivering nutrients inside and exit as easy as it came in, but taking out all the toxins. Water has to be mineralized. So when it comes into your body, let's say it's purified water or if it's filtered water, it has nothing except for the water but our cells need nutrients in order for the water to actually exit, enter in, and the water stays in our body until it pulls those nutrients from our bones, muscles, and then only gets into the cell. So we don't want that hold for the water to be there. So we need it to be mineralized. Alkaline, questionable quality, but very important. If you think about it, most of the products we eat and drink today are uh, acidic. And when we do take a lot of acidic stuff into our body, it has to be neutral, neutralized by something. Obviously, if you lived in the nature and eat a lot of greens, you probably would have enough of the neutral, neutral products to neutralize the acidity. However, many people don't. So what is the alternative? If you drink alkaline water, you will help to maintain the pH balance in your body without losing calcium and magnesium from your body to neutralize acidity. Charged water, we'll talk about it a little bit later, and it has to be bioaccessible, meaning your body has to be easily digesting this water and removing it out. So water that we take from a tap or clean, uh, bottled water cannot be easily processed by our body exactly because we just discussed uh, the reasons. Oxidation redox potential is a very interesting topic. It's electricity in the water. Human body are electric creatures as anything else, and we charge negatively inside. So if we eat or drink something with negative charge, we get in more energy. Conversely, if we drink or eat something that has positive charge, we're losing energy. And once again, everything we eat today, processed food, sweet food, all the uh, foods with the... Um, flour in it actually causes us to get more oxidative and that 
drains our energy away. If you look at the bottom of the page, you will see that our blood has uh, minus 57 millivolts. Uh, our mother's milk is minus 70. And vegetables, our freshly squeezed juices is minus 100 millivolts. But on the other hand, vinegar and carmelite drinks is plus 400. Imagine how much energy you will lose when you drink that and so on and so forth. So move on. Um, next step, we talked about uh, internal hygiene. So imagine we have that same fish tank and we do have water in the fish tank, but we never clean the water. What's going to happen with the fishes? Eventually they will die. And what we need to clean our body from are two things. One is parasites, whether you believe them or in that or not, they are around us and you will see in a second where we get them from. And a second, we have to cleanse our intestine. So 70% of diagnoses are incorrect. And this is a statement by World Health Organization. We can find parasites anywhere in our body, brain, eyes, lungs, blood, liver, muscles, joints, intestine. Funny thing, or maybe not so funny, our body is uh, for them serving three purposes. It's a diner, they come to eat here. And by the way, they eat faster than we do, the same nutrients we need. It's their toilet, they go pee and poo here, and that intoxicate our body. And they also die, this is their cemetery, because they cannot really get out of the town, our body, for their funeral. So they all of this takes away nutrients from our body, and gets more intoxication. Now, where do we get parasites or where we possibly can get parasites? Pets, if you like pets, if you have one at home, you probably do antiparasitic program for them every three months, but do you do it for yourself? Air, the seeds of parasites can, or eggs of parasites can just fly with the air and you just breathe them in. That's enough to get intoxicated. Bites of uh, different insects swimming in the open water meat and fruits and vegetables unless you put them through boiled water or some really hard chemicals if you wash it just with the cold water you cannot really get rid of the parasites or their eggs now intestine is another thing the statement here by dr franz sayer uh, meyer saying death begins in intestine by age 25 our intestine, which is long pipe, goes through the entire body, uh, is uh, filled with slag and toxins. And if we don't remove it, it causes a lot of discomfort. It also it stops us from producing, processing the food properly and causes us to eat more. Uh, body pulls the water from intestine and if the intestine is clogged, we're pulling out dirty water. And finally, our intestine is having, uh, has higher temperature the entire body is 38 degrees in Celsius. So everything that all organs that attach or connect to the intestine get inflamed, inflamed because of the high temperature. We already spoke about uh, uh, acid-base uh, balance in our body. This is the balance between acidity and uh, base in, in our system. So if you look here, the scale goes from one to 14, and that zone, we have products like flour, flour sugar, or sodas. Uh, the natural neutral is seven, and where the life zone begins, that's where our liquids of our body remain, saliva, blood, and lymph. So naturally, if you eat acidic products, the balance will not be able to maintain unless you're using something else to neutralize it. In today's world, we have a lot of foods that are empty, and by consuming them, we're not getting any better. Each fifth man and each sixth woman develops cancer at some point in their life. Just look at this horrible statistics. In 2014, got sick about 10 millions per year, and nine of them died. In 2020, it went to 19 and 11 accordingly, and most of the cancers, and there's uh, just an example of how many people have to die in airplane crash, so you understand the severity of the problem. But the most cancers are surrounded 
the organs that are, again, uh, located around our intestine, esophagus, lungs, breast, stomach, intestine, and liver. So let's look at the food. We don't even talk about nutrition for our cells. Again, why do we need to speak about it? Because nutrition or food that we eat deliver to our cells two things. One is building material. Our body is rebuilding every single day up until we age and we need energy. Without energy, we're all going to die as well. So imagine our body and our meals as a construction site. And every day, in order our, for our construction site to operate correctly, we need these minerals or nutrients. I should say amino acids, they are the building bricks. Minerals, they are cement that put us as amino acids together. Vitamins, they like concrete mixer, they interact with all ingredients. Enzymes, like a foreman on the construction site that makes sure that everything works properly. And unsaturated fatty acids are the fence. They are the protection and all our cells are built from that. And finally, we already spoke about water. Water is a transport, is a truck that delivers uh, and the materials to the site and takes garbage out. Now, <clears throat> I already mentioned the empty foods. Why did I say so? Because look what happens when we start cooking our foods. Amino acids are destroyed. Uh, minerals are becoming inorganic. Vitamins and enzymes destroyed as well from not only temperature, but also sun and time and preservatives. And fat, uh, fatty acids are destroyed with temperature as well. So pretty much if we cook something, we have very little value. I'm talking about value for our body and our cells in that food. We still can enjoy the taste, but our cells don't care about taste. They only care about what's inside that food that we ate today. So when what happens with the minerals, when they become non-organic, our body cannot really process them. So they just pile up in our system and we cannot get rid of it. And this causes just more and more problems for our body. This guy, Max, he lives in Germany. And for many years, he was researching and pretty much making his own foods by collecting herbs in the different places and preparing them. And that usually takes a lot of time. It not necessarily smells and tastes well. And he stopped doing it when he found analogous products in Coral Club. Now, how you can take advantage of this opportunity and take care of yourself, your health and your family by simply changing products that you're buying right now or supplementing because we are talking about bioactive supplements, the products that you already taken with supplements from our supermarket of healthy products that are made in Germany, US, Japan, Canada, Netherlands, France, Taiwan, South Korea, and Norway. And what do you have to do? Simply become a club member. Yes, we are club. And in our club members, club membership is free of charge. You didn't hear it incorrectly. It is absolutely free. There is no obligation. All we ask you to do is to learn how to take care of your body, enjoy it, and make yourself and your life better. What do you get for your free registration? You ask, you get 20% discount on all your products from very first order until the very last order. You get 5% cash back on any purchases that you're, the people who you refer to the club made so pretty much you like the products you receive your great results you feel good and you're naturally sharing it with your friends and the family once they become a club member every time they buy you get five percent in your coral wallet and you start stop using your cash you start using your coral money to buy your products and eventually you become a premium customer and for your loyalty you get 10 percent cash back from your own purchases which you can use again towards your own purchases we also hold regularly promotions for different products and different holidays, and you will get additional discounts on top of the 20% that you already have. And finally, but not probably least important, you will be becoming a part of health conscious, uh, active and positive community of people around the world who care about health, who care about others, and who are willing and enjoying sharing their healthy lifestyle with other people. Uh, there are a couple examples here. This 
this is Yelena Pegrushna. She's really an Olympic champion and she's five time European champion. When she competed and when she met with my partner Alex, she mentioned that she really feels how her body reacts when she takes our products and when she doesn't take them. So obviously she feels much better using our products. This is another example, Gulnara. For many years, she lived with hands and legs like that. And you can imagine the life of the person who cannot really enjoy go out and, and be with other people because of, of the condition of her skin, not to mention the pain. Now, only, only eight months after concept of health and our products, her show her life changed once and for all. This is another uh, situation where the five-year-old child had issue with the joint that was damaged. And after three years of cellular nutrition, her joint was restored with our product called Bilron. And not only we can fix something inside, but even to look outside, this guy was trying to lose weight for all of his life as far as he remembered himself. And finally, he can enjoy his beautiful athletic body. Last but not least, people think at some point in time, it's too late to start taking, taking care of their body, but it's actually not true. As long as you're still living, you can make yourself look better, feel better, and live longer. So what we offer you to do is to not take our word for it, but think about it, research, and try. Just give it a try. It's a small investment, but you may have a huge return on your investment. Where do you want to start? You have to start here in your head. After this conversation with me today, 95% will stay looking for a treatment and only 5% will choose the prevention. We talk about prevention here. We talk about every day doing the little things to improve your life big way. And others, you can enjoy your life until you get sick, you get sick, you search for a treatment, and once you feel better, forget about your health one more time until the next time. Our approach is remember that our health is a process, not a result, and we have to leave this process. Thank you for watching, have a wonderful day. Make your choice, reach out to people who gave you this video, learn more, be healthy and happy.